Hello, my name is Sophie Higgs and I'm the Designer Collection Specialist at Fellows Auctioneers in Birmingham. And I'm here today with thesalroom.com to talk you through the difference between an authentic and a non-authentic handbag. I've brought along with me today uh, one genuine Yves Saint Laurent handbag and one fake. And I will talk you through what to look out for when trying to spot a fake designer handbag. The first thing that you should consider when looking at a handbag is the leather. As you will see, this handbag here is made from an embossed python skin leather. Now, it's not uncommon to find some high-end designer handbags to use embossed leathers rather than real exotic skins. However, it is always important to check this by looking online at reputable websites and it could also be a red flag for you to look into the handbag further. Following on from that, you should look further into the details of the exterior of the handbag. It is very thick and it is extremely sloppy. So a lot of the coating on this edge, it overlaps into the actual handbag and you would never normally find that when you look at a well-made high-end designer handbag. The main feature that we're looking at on the exterior of this handbag would be the, the metal monogram and the tassel. So when looking at this handbag here, this tassel is extremely loose. That's nothing that you would probably normally flag, but the fact that it squeaks as well. Also, the tassel is extremely thin and we're extremely lucky today because we actually have the authentic version of this handbag so we can actually show you the comparison. So when you look at the real version of this handbag, you will notice that the tassel is extremely rigid. It is very well made, it doesn't squeak, it doesn't move around. And when you run your finger over the tassel, you will really notice how thick and full that tassel is. Taking a closer look at the first handbag, you would notice that it is very thin. And then when you look at it more closely, you'll notice that there's actually a, a Phillips screw in the center of this tassel that they've used to try and fill out the tassel. And that is a, an absolute indicator that this is not an authentic handbag. Another thing I think it's very important to note when looking at this handbag is the chain. Chains are always a very good indicator to see if a handbag is genuine or not. First of all, you should check the weight of the, of the chain. Now this is actually a fairly substantial weighted chain. However, when you look more closely, you'll notice that all of the links are open. None of them are sealed correctly. And if you run your finger over the links, they're actually very, very sharp to the touch. In comparison with the genuine Yves Saint Laurent handbag here, you will notice that every single one of the links is sealed very tightly. And if you were to run your fingers up and down the chain, it would feel extremely smooth. Following on from this, you will also notice very clearly from the exteriors that the e Saint logos are very different. This is again something that you can easily check up online. There's parts of this logo that stretch too high and again, indicated that this is not a genuine handbag. Following on from that, as soon as you open the handbag, on this version, you will notice the Yves Saint Laurent logo. Now, I think it's very important whenever you're checking a handbag yourself that you familiarize yourself with the maker's logo or the maker's plaque, because it is always a very easy way to identify whether or not the handbag is genuine. When we compare that with the genuine Yves Saint Laurent logo, first of all, you'll notice straight away that it's in the wrong place. The genuine logo is a lot smaller in size. It's very evenly stamped as against the first handbag where the lettering is very stretched and unevenly stamped. All you need to do is familiarize yourself with the lettering, the font, the spacing, and the size. When trying to identify whether a handbag is genuine or not, it's always important to look at the accessories that the handbag comes with. So in this case here, we have the dust bag for each. First of all, this is the dust bag for the red fake handbag. The dust bag is made from very, very cheap material and it is also lined incredibly poorly. The edges are all frayed and it actually has started to split already at the side and this will continue to split all the way around. The maker's logo on the front is also incorrect. On the other hand, 
if you were to have a look at the genuine Yves Saint Laurent dust bag, you will notice that this is actually an extremely well-fitted dust bag for the size of the handbag. It is also made from extremely durable material and is also lined with the same very thick cotton lining. You will also notice that this dust bag actually has a maker's label inside it. Both of these handbags have been consigned to fellows for auction. However, as this handbag here is clearly not authentic, it will be returned and will not be sold at auction. Alternatively, this handbag here is absolutely 100% genuine and will be going into auction and will expect to reach up to 600 pounds.